Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for another edition of Playing and Learning. Very good, you're getting the hang of it. With Captain Vernon. Here's your host, Captain Vernon. <laughs> I'm getting the camera better, angled better. I'm, I didn't, I wasn't, I knew where to look this time. Yes, well, welcome back. I appreciate you coming back to watch more videos. This is great. This is great to see you. Oh, now first, let me ask you. If you're not a subscriber, just subscribe. The little button is somewhere. I'm sure there's a red arrow on the screen somewhere pointed to where it is or the general vicinity. So if you like these videos, uh, subscribe and I'm going to keep making them. Um, if you like them, if you don't like them, either way, I'm having a great time because I really need this gig. Um, it doesn't pay well, um, but um, it pays something. Um, well, thank you for being here. Um, this is actually a continuation of the segment that we did before, the video that we did where we were talking a little bit about the toys you see behind me. This, um, we have a couple more lessons that we, f we found um, with the help of the professor, so we wanted to go over them. But first, let's review what we did in the, um, in the last one. Voiceover guy? Um, sure. So um, in the last video, we talked a little bit about submarines. We also talked about diving bells. And we talked about Jacques Cousteau. Awesome, awesome. Those are great things to know. Um, so in this one, um, we're going to do some more stuff. So why don't we uh, take a look at the toys and see what we got there, all right? Uh, I'll let my good friend Hans McHuntington take over. So here he comes. Hans McHuntington! Ah, dude, you just need to, you need to be able to just come into the segment when I say it. All right, I'm here, I'm here. So, um, so what we have here... So what we have here is a very cool blade. Now he has these nice blue wheels, um, and you can see AJ is attached to him with a little tether. And when they go in the water, he actually just you know floats right behind him. Um, so it's, it's pretty pretty nice to have some toys that you can actually bring into the water because some of these, these toys are um, you know based on water vehicles, but you can't actually bring them in the water because they might ruin them. But this can go right into the bath time. So uh, many of these toys are meant just for the bath. That is great stuff. Now you talked a little bit about what it does in the water. Now, what did you say it was called? I think it's called buoyancy. What a buoyancy. What the heck is that? Buoyancy. Buoyancy, buoyancy, buoyancy. That's a great word. What the heck is that? Well, why don't we ask the professor? That sounds like a great idea. I mean, why don't we go to the professor to learn a little bit more about what buoyancy is? Buoyancy. Professor? I don't think you heard you. Professor! Buoyancy. Buoyancy, buoyancy, buoyancy. That's a great word. Buoyancy, buoyancy, we're gonna keep, buoyancy. <laughs> it's, it's a funny word to say. <laughs> buoyancy, buoyancy is the ability to float. Buoyancy, buoyancy, buoyancy. <laughs> Sorry. Buoyancy is the ability or tendency to float in air or water, simply put. So when something is buoyant like a boat, that allows it to float on the water as opposed to not being buoyant and sinking to the bottom of the sea. Thank you, back to you, Captain. Buoyancy. Buoyancy. I love the word. Is that why we call buoys? Buoys? Is that where the word comes from? Buoy. I think so. I think it's a combination. That's why you call a buoy out there that hangs out buoy. in the water. Because it's floating. That's all it's supposed to do. Like this. This is me floating. Ding, 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 ding. Buoy. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, buoy. Ding, ding. Buoy. Buoy. Blah, 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 blah. Is that all you like to say? Is that all you like to say? Is that really all you like to say? I mean, really. Where did, where did, where did my, my, where, where did my little, patch on my chest go, you know, the one that looks like a the thing that steers a boat. You know, you know, where, where, where did my sticker go? You know, the one that was the sticker. I had a sticker on my chest that looked like a wheel. Uh, I'm not sure where it went. Well, we gotta find it, man. How are we gonna have consistency if we don't have the wheel? I mean, the wheel is everything. I think we'll be fine. Fine, fine, fine. So, let's go on to the next toy. Hans, take it away. So, right here, now in addition, um, one thing that was kind of cool is that you get a squeeze toy. Wink, 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 wink. It's um, of a walrus. And um, that actually comes with the Bad Time Paw Patrol set. Now, it can be, this can obviously go in the tub because it has a little the hole to squeeze out water and spray people and stuff. Um, and walruses are very interesting animals. I can imagine, I mean, what are those things sticking out of its mouth? Well, let's ask the professor. Fine, I'm sure I could have figured it out on my own. Well, why don't you tell me what they are? Um, I assume he had two toothpicks in his mouth and he just never took them out. You are so wrong. Fine. Professor! 
Thank you, Captain. So, a walrus is a large flippered mammal, um, normally found in the North Pole, um, in the Arctic Ocean, and also in the sub-Arctic oceans of the Northern Hemisphere. Now, um, the male walrus can usually be um, identified by the large tusks, as you can see on this little toy that we have here. And those things are great for um, gathering fish in the water, or just for showing off to other walruses to say, look what big teeth I have. Another important fact is that walruses typically, while they are able to swim, typically live above the water um, on the land. Ha <laughs> ha, back to you. Well, thank you for telling me about those walruses. Um, I guess those aren't toothpicks. I was, I was way off. I apologize. It's okay. Okay, well, um, to summarize, let's, um, let's summarize what we learned today. Well, we learned a little bit more um, about some sea creatures. We learned about what a walrus is. And we also learned about buoyancy. Oh, those are cruel, cruel, cruel those are cruel, cruel, blah, 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 blah. Oh. So we learned about walruses, and we learned about buoyancy. See how easy that was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I always like to end these segments with a little bit of a joke. So, uh, what is a pirate's favorite class in school? What is it? Art! <laughs> Art, you get it? Although painting with a hook is quite, quite hard. I guess you only need one hand, but I'm actually a lefty, so having this hook is very inconvenient in art class. I mean, I'm over here trying to use my other hand or use my mouth. It's really weird. So that's my joke for today. That was terrible. My buccaneer joke was much better. No, it wasn't. They were, they were both equally bad. Oh, whatever, whatever. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you taking the time, and as always, subscribe. That's really what helps us, and helps us to get more videos up, and tell us what toys you want us to review. If there's anything out there you want to review, or maybe any concepts you want to cover, let us know. Just put it in the comment section below. So, thanks, have a great day, and hope to see you soon. But uh, don't roll the credits while I'm talking, man! What is your problem? Oh, I know I'm probably talking too long, but we'll get through this together. Bye-bye. Have a good one.